They met in Cream Pay when they were just four and five. At Emily Smith's birthday party, their crush came alive. They played and they danced for most of the day, and when another boy moved in, James pushed him away. When Emily couldn't blow her candles out, James offered to help her, and there was no doubt. <laughs> These two blue tie tastes share something sweet, but it would be 20 years over again. It would be. This is their story, and one thing is clear they were destined to be together, and that's why we're here. Their long conversations about books, their artsy movie nights, their intricately crapped meals together really brought out the best to Jinx. <laughs> it was apparent that James, the man who always seems like the smartest guy in the room, had finally met his match. <laughs> and as a beautiful woman who spoke five languages, loves to travel, reads books, and her favorite man is fish. I knew that she was perfect for James. I wanted to end by sharing something James told me when I asked him when he realized Emily was the one. He said, quote, honestly, I don't think there was a moment in particular. It was like learning to read. I got a ton of pieces over time before it all clicked. James Robert Butler III. Little did we know he would fit so well into the regal nature of that man. Ironically, 14 years later, his regal personality would earn him the nickname, The King. He was well known for holding court at lunch and ruling the after school music club known as the Top Dance. Your mom and I are so happy that you have found your queen. Everyone, please raise your glasses with me as we toast to the bride and groom. May you find joy in your journey. May you approach life's challenges as a team. And may you always look at each other with the high bar of admiration and affection that James set so many years ago. James and love about James, all the things that make you, you. And that's a very beautiful thing and a very gratifying day for someone that has been a friend with you for over 25 years to know that you see all that. Brothers and sisters were gathered here with a lot of excitement to witness the marriage of Emily and James. Emily and James, are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both found them? I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? I am. I am. I, James, take you, Emily, to be my wife. I, Emily, take you, James, to be my husband. 
I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Emily received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth His love into your hearts. Amen. Allow me to introduce you for the first time as husband and wife, Emily and James Butler, to make this right. It's often said, and most of you have probably heard, that James found his unicorn. But as I come, I come to know Emily, I can always say that both of them have found like a war. Your connection is undeniable, and you both are two puzzle pieces that fit together perfectly. From your passion to movies, music, tennis, to your genuine love of life, James and Emily are tested it to compatibility and well. I just see they do and James bring out the very best in each other. It's just Jesus and care to be perfect. And I'm just so excited to see you guys grow. Getting to know Emily and watching James and Emily's love grow for each other over the time they've been together has been just such a great joy over the past several years. And I love you guys so much. I'm so happy for you. And uh, I can't wait to continue to watch you guys. Now, you don't change to bar on your new journey together. I wish you both a life channel of love, and joy, and happiness. In closing, in honor of my parents, I go for traditional Italian wedding toast. Cento di questi giorni. That means 100 days like this. Oh, oh, oh.